Welcome to another edition of The Contessa Answers All. Today's query comes from an individual desperate to figure out a way to move more gracefully on the dance floor. She says, Dear Contessa, how is it that I, as a lady, can dance more gracefully in long skirts? Also, how can I keep those skirts out from under the feet of my partner and or other dancers on the floor? Sincerely yours, Graceless in Ghent. Well, Graceless, thank you very much for asking. Let's examine that, shall we? Conveniently, nearly all of my over gowns have ridiculously long trains, so this should be very easy to demonstrate. So as you see, when I move around, my skirts flare out behind me. My train literally trains, and it responds to the motion of my body. If I turn this way, it flares out. If I turn this way, it flares out. And that's fine if I'm the only person on the floor. But, <laughs> no bad kitty, no biscuit. <laughs> so this gives me a good chance to explain how to pick up your train to keep your cat from stepping on it or in it. So one option is, you imagine I have my partner, and he's here to my left, as would be typical if he were the leader and I were the follower, and we're holding hands. So that leaves my right hand free. But my right hand is never free when I'm dancing, not really. Nearly always, I, at the very least, pick up my skirts, and I usually pick it up much closer to the end of the train. Not all the way, I don't actually grab the train, because I would like it to trail a little bit on the floor. So if that's the center of my train, I grab it about a couple of feet from there so that I still have some trainage, right? still some expensive fabric dragging on the floor, getting filthy dirty to exhibit my wealth in the most conspicuously consumptive fashion I can. So I've got my partner, I'm dancing, and I'm manipulating my skirts with this free hand. So if I want to, I can add some flair as I come around. I can keep it from under my partner's feet by bringing my arm up more closely. And if I, for a moment, realize that I'm going to be dancing away sola, I can leave my train out entirely, and I'll just hold on to the side of my skirt to actually allow for more flair and flow. So that is one way that you can manage your skirts. Right. Now if that still proves problematic for you, then you can also actually, and let's say you don't want your skirts to drag on the ground at all because the ground is dirty, and maybe if you're just walking outside, you don't want your skirts to become absolutely filthy. So I can take the tip of my train and I'm going to wrap it around my arm and then grab the end like that. And then, as you see from the side, I've got my train in my hand. It's controlled. And then on I walk, it's not dragging on the floor. So if I were to say, be walking outside in some sort of muddy conditions, this is how I would manage it. And if you look at the frescoes, depicting my fellow country women. You'll notice if you look at their arms, there's a little wrap of fabric around their arms that looks like it's the skirt of their dress, the same fabric, and it is. If you look closely, they've done exactly this. They have wrapped it around their arm, or maybe they've wrapped it around the other way. That's really awkward. <laughs> so you can wrap it like that if you wanna wrap it from the outside. You can grab in the V of your hand like that. And there I have it. And if you have a very, very long train, this one's pretty long, but I, it's not quite long enough to do this, but I will demonstrate anyway. You can actually, you see this too, in some of the frescoes, you can actually tie a half knot, and then you don't have to hold it at all. Your hand's entirely free, and it's attached to your arm. And then wherever my arm goes, it goes. And I'm completely unburdened by the hem of my skirts. Now, you'll notice though that my skirts more or less end at the ground. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny 
mm, well, my gamora actually ends right at the ground. And my my choppa ends at the ground. So there's nothing dragging on the ground in front of me. However, I do have some guns that do. And if this is a problem for you, then with your free hand, you can actually, and you see this, you definitely see this in the illuminations I showed just on the overskirt. They actually gather all of this front and they hold it here at their belly, just like this, with, with what would be your free hand while dancing, right? And then if you imagine my partner, I can easily dance this way, right? There's nothing that prevents me, and this keeps this, my skirts out of my way. Now, obviously, you shouldn't hike all of your skirts up so that your knees are showing. So you only grab the amount that's necessary to get the skirts off of the floor. If you're wearing an undergown that goes all the way down but doesn't drag, that's ideal, because then you can hike your overskirts up as much as you want, that doesn't matter. And you will see this too, and it especially, it creates, you know, this look of fecundity, of fertility, you know, even though I'm not with child, it makes it look as though I am, which of course makes me highly prized and desirable in the various Italian city-states. So those are your options. Your options are on the ground, but controlled, with your hand. Grabbing closer to the end of the train, right, so that when you move around. Wrapping around your wrist, either from the inside out, the outside in, or tying it around your arm entirely, your train. Then for the front, gathering and baby bunching. <laughs> okay, well, I think those are all my suggestions for managing skirts. And that basically covers also how to keep the skirts out from under your partner's feet. You know, the less skirt that's on the ground, the less it's going to be under his feet. So that has been your edition of The Contessa Answers All. Keep the questions coming. Don't forget to like and subscribe.